Picasso said that success is important. Um, Gecko said greed is good. So, do you think art is still valid because of the whole credit crunch? It's, I don't think it's, it's kind of irrelevant. Um, you know, the art world is enormous. Uh, the, the money games of a few people at the top really are not relevant. I mean, the, the, the artists they've been invested, investing in um, are pretty good artists. It's not like they're trying to build up the career of bad artists. Yes, I am. Because, well, what I, what I feel is, is going to just, everyone's going to think twice, everyone's going to really think about what they're doing. People that have, there's, there's, like, there's been a mushroom of the art world that's been, you know, out of proportion. They can't, it's not sustainable. So all of that's going to be, there's going to be a really natural cull. Clearly there is. I mean, in, in the art world, per se, there will always be artists and there will always be people that want to buy art. It's perhaps the galleries and the people in between that are the ones that are going to really suffer. The art which is uh, valuable and exciting is that which brings us closer to openness, brings us closer to being, and indeed precisely away from the, the, the trivia of the narrative which is exactly what the celebrity culture has, uh, has generated. And we need to get back to the art and away from the personalities. Art is not about a Hello magazine, it's about ideas, it's about trying to change the space and the world that we live in and um, uh, it's really gratifying really to see so many uh, artists and people in the art world here who I think have that similar view and uh, I think despite the financial difficulties which we're all going to face, um, I think the next few years are going to be really exciting. question whether they've been affected or not. Um, all artists have been affected, even if they don't know it. Um, this, is a, um, this, this is only a problem if they're concerned about their assets, or if they have any assets at all. I mean, naturally, if you, you know, the average person, if they have a mortgage or family, or, and they're trying to sort of support this by speculating with the arts, it's going to be a serious problem. If, on the other hand, um, the artist considers himself to be a um, a non-acid Diogenes saint, then um, you're in a, a scenario where I guess it doesn't affect you at all. But in, in one, one form or another, you would have to be an almost complete outsider from the society for this to be true. This is actually what's most important about the Also, the Chinese that's not it's not a problem there, it's him skipping against the Korean sensibility. And he's buying into our own ideas, buying into terms of the type of Perhaps the recession is not going to be driven by this market, maybe it's shown to struggle together. It's a constant struggle, we're always struggling. And I had to break free myself to kind of get on that path, but you know, it's a place like this and make it. I mean, I think the full effects of the credit crunch, um, and I even like feel a little bit, it sticks in my throat slightly to use these terms, but um, I think the full effects of it will, will play out like um, more later on, and I think it probably will have an effect on the sort of art people make. Um, 
people will get more ingenious. They will use sort of like recycled materials. They will probably do things that are much more. Um, I, I think they'll probably do things that are ethically a bit more sound somehow. I think that high production values of artwork. I, I don't really know exactly how it affects me. So far, it hasn't really affected me at all. Although that there are some slightly larger works that I have. That, that people are spending a lot longer thinking about whether they want to buy them. Um, but generally with smaller works, I seem to be selling more smaller works than I've ever done before. So uh, maybe that, maybe it's affecting me in the way that people, are, people well, seemingly more people are want to get in on a sort of like entry level and less people want to actually like spend money on bigger work. So I think it just, it's just slowing down on the, on the sort of like, on the big fat end. It's a relatively recent phenomenon that, that English artists have like have had any kind of financial success or sort of commercial success. And um, you know, I think during the 70s, a lot of art, a lot of British art was very conceptual, very black and white. A lot of it was bought, um, funded, owned by the Arts Council, um, very socialistly driven. You know, now when you go around sort of like an art fair and you go around sort of like art market scenarios, there's a lot of gold and glittery pictures and. You know, a lot of it's very showy, you know, yeah, a lot of it's very kind of superficial. I think maybe a lot of that kind of, a lot of that kind of um, showy, superficial elements, I think they maybe they'll, they'll, they'll kind of get, they'll, they'll get taken off the, the surface of the picture, but, um, yeah. But, uh, you know, my take on it is uh, it's a highly complex structure in which one needs to negotiate, both artistically, aesthetically, philosophically. These things are absolutely, these gatherings are absolutely dependent on uh, all of the folk who, who take part. And uh, I look forward to there being uh, another event next year when we can be talking about the new work that has been developed over the last and we can get excited about the future.